It's no secret. I don't think Catherine McKenna, Canada's globe-trotting Minister of the Environment, is a very bright individual. She's definitely not a scientist. She has zero common sense. I think she's self-absorbed, image-obsessed, and she was the lucky recipient of Justin Trudeau's gender parity lottery in his cabinet. She certainly isn't getting by on her own merit and common sense. I'm perpetually critical of McKenna, and she is just so, so bad at social media. She's always tweeting the stupidest stuff. She falls for parody accounts and trolls all the time. Remember that time she fell for that suggestion about security lighting causing climate change and then she tweeted it out? Alan in Saskatchewan, a clever man I only wish I knew, thought he'd trick McKenna and submitted a suggestion to her people as part of calls for ideas about how to fight climate change during Environment Week. His suggestion said this, Studies show that so-called security lighting does not reduce crime. It's time to put an end to insecurity lights so we can all have a better future. Insecurity lights, that's so good. And yet McKenna fell for it. Apparently liberals will fall for anything that says studies show. Alan in Saskatchewan, you epic troll, hats off to you. Now McKenna deleted that tweet after what it seemed like the entire internet made fun of her. But because of that embarrassing episode, we filed a freedom of information request about McKenna's Twitter account and specifically about insecurity lights. We wanted to know how something so blatantly trollish made it past the big brains in the minister's office and God help me, that FOIA request turned back nearly 100 pages. But those nearly 100 pages are a terrific insight into the inner workings of the minister's office. There is a literal army of people, highly paid bureaucrats, there to manage her tweets. I think I counted 24 on the email approving the list of pre-chosen tweets for Environment Week. And yet still, all these highly paid bureaucrats are not bright enough to catch a blatantly fake suggestion. I still can't get over that. 24 people to approve her tweets, and yet those tweets are still so stupid. McKenna is one of the biggest social media disasters in government on a day-to-day -day basis. Can you even believe that? 24 people saw that suggestion by Alan in Saskatchewan. Not a single one of them thought, yeah, what's a couple of rapes in a dark parking lot when you're trying to save the earth? It's astounding. Now, over the next couple days, I'll dig a little deeper into some of the more stupid stuff I can find in these 97 pages. I'll even show you which tweets from regular citizens made the ministry take notice. But what I will tell you right now is that in all those pages, there was no science discussed in any of those documents or emails. No policy issues. If a Backstreet Boys poster were a government ministry, this would be it. It's the exact same thing you get when dealing with Trudeau. What we see is an entire government concerned about image, shirtless selfies, and photo ops, while completely oblivious to the real things, the threats from ISIS, the dangers of a bad economy, surging unemployment, threats to persecuted religious groups like Yazidis and Middle Eastern Christians that need our help, these things go right over the head of government. What we have is a government by glamour and not government by policy. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.